from the IHTN studios. It's Hello, Indian Hill, and welcome to this spooky special of Braves Beat. I'm Rachel Gerard. And I'm Emily Anderson. Emily, what are you dressed up as for Halloween? I'm a pumpkin. Aren't you going to ask me what I am? What even are you? I'm a cat. Duh. All right. Anyway, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. This last week, Teensy Zhang set the Indian Hill volleyball record for most digs. For the uninformed, a dig is a crucial defensive move in volleyball that can prevent a score from the opposing team. Teensy has established herself as a defensive master at Indian Hill and has been crucial to the team's success. Our dogmen are playing for the CHL championship on Friday at Wyoming at 7 o'clock. The game could be an instant classic with such great teams competing. It may be an away game, but it's the most important game of the season for the team. So come out and support your guys. It'll be a cold one, so dress warm and be loud, Braves. Tired of our pillars yet? Good, because neither are we. Here's Dakota with pride. Having pride is the number one thing that makes our school united. It means having a feeling of respect for yourself and who you are. We are proud to be a Brave, and we stand together. When I think about pride, I think about all the wonderful things that are going on inside of Indian Hill High School. There are so many great things happening inside and outside of the classroom, and all of our students should be incredibly proud of these moments. Pride is like taking together past experiences, past experiences of success, and kind of bring them together to form a body of confidence for yourself moving forward in everything that you do. Having pride means having spirit for your school. Pride is being happy with who you are and striving for greatness. <laughs> be proud of who you are, because we are and always will be Braves. Five members of the IH girls tennis team competed in the OHSAA District 2 state championship over the week. The Hirsch sisters repeated as third place winners in Division 2 doubles. Gracie and Haley defeated juniors Isabella DeVario and Rebecca Wolf of Half Hathaway Brown, 6-4 and 7-5 in the third place game. Julia Yingling and Nina Price also won a game against the doubles team from Logan Elm before being defeated by the first place pair. The team overall placed third. Amazing season, ladies. As a part of the Building Bridges of Friendship program, we have four students from New Taipei City, Taiwan at our school. Athena, Jenny, Kiki, and Sabrina arrived at school this Monday, and they'll be staying through November 11th. You may have seen them in your classes, but if you haven't met them yet, help us make sure they feel welcomed. Make sure to give them a huge Indian Hill welcome when you first see them in the halls. Hey, Emily. Did you see some weird bush walking around the hallways yesterday? You mean Ahmed? Yes. Let's take a closer look. help the plants and the earth. Don't destroy ah. them. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, that's interesting. 
In recognition of exhibiting the six pillars, we are bringing back the Super Brave Award. This award is given to students from teachers to show that the following student shows the six pillars and expresses them well. Those students can then come to the main office with their certificate and can enter to win the month's Super Brave raffle, which will entail some Super Brave gear and slash aura gift certificates. The first drawing will be held on Halloween. Once the raffle is over, students will obtain their certificates back and then we'll start the process again at the beginning of each month. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, see us on Snapchat, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay Jake classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Woo! Yo, Jake, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Pennywise. Yo, Josh, uh, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Donald Trump. What are you gonna be for Halloween? George Bush. Nightman. Alright, so for Halloween, I'm gonna be Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. Hello, Jared. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Ronald Reagan. Colin Shaw. For Halloween, I wanna be one of those things in the car parking lot that goes like.